The health effects of climate change become increasingly apparent with each passing year. Climate change is now considered to be the greatest threat to human health in the 21st century by the World Health Organization. Additionally, the 2019 Lancet Countdown report admonished that the life of every child born today will be profoundly affected by climate change, with populations around the world increasingly facing extremes of weather, food and water insecurity, changing patterns of infectious disease, and a less certain future. Furthermore, both the American Medical Association and the Ohio State Medical Association support teaching the health effects of climate change in medical education. Yet only 15% of medical schools have incorporated such topics into their curriculums. To increase awareness of this growing public health concern, a planetary health report card was completed for the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. UConn received an overall grade of a D with a curriculum score of an F. Considering these findings, a novel climate health and equity curriculum was proposed and developed by medical students to teach about the health effects of climate change and environmental degradation during the M1 and M2 years. Topics to be included in the climate health and equity curriculum were identified using the findings of the PHRC. 12 major topics were identified, extreme weather, infectious disease, cardiovascular and respiratory health, mental health and environmental degradation, reproductive health, carbon footprint of healthcare, sustainable healthcare practices, water quality, food and water insecurity, diet in the environment, environmental justice, and relevant patient scenarios. Slide decks were created to educate students on how climate change impacts health in the areas outlined above and exacerbates inequalities and social determinants of health. To date, the climate health and equity curriculum has been implemented into the M2 cardiovascular pulmonary and renal GI blocks, as well as the M1 physician and society course. Over subsequent months, the remaining topics will be in integrated into the other blocks. It is estimated that inclusion of these 12 major topics into medical student education will improve UCOM's curriculum score on the PHRC from an F to a B, which will raise our overall score from a D minus to a C. In the center of the poster, you can see example slides for extreme heat and slides relevant to environmental degradation. One of the many recent examples that portrays how heat impacts health was the Pacific Northwest heat wave that resulted in nearly 200 deaths, which was the greatest weather-related tragedy in Washington's history. There are important lessons from this that future physicians should know. Many that passed during this heat wave had pre-existing conditions that made them at risk to heat-related morbidity, such as cardiovascular disease, chronic kidney disease, or using medications like diuretics that made their bodies prone to dehydration. It is important to educate these patients of their increased risk factors, and also to consider these risks when managing their physicians, managing their health from a physician's perspective. Moving forward, our goal this year is to complete slide decks for all of the M1 and M2 courses and to integrate these slides into the courses. Uh, we also plan to create forms to collect student and course director feedback with the goal to continually improve the curriculum and to design clinical and problem-based learning scenarios for the learning communities and clinical skills courses. During the academic year 2023-2024, we wanna collaborate with local climate-oriented nonprofits during the M1 Physician and Society Service Project. One organization we have already started discussions with is Green Umbrella. We also plan to work with the Ohio State University College of Medicine and the Climate Resources for Health Education Project to create a series of slide decks for all Ohio medical schools. Ohio State is currently in the process of implementing their own climate and health uh, curriculum. And as the first schools in Ohio to begin this process, we wanna help other schools begin their own curriculums. In conclusion, climate change poses a growing threat to public health at the local, national, and global levels. The climate health and equity curriculum is part of an evolving effort by students to better prepare their peers for a future healthcare landscape that will be drastically influenced by climate change. This poster demonstrates our first steps, but we've received encouraging feedback thus far and look forward to expanding our work. As this endeavor continues, any students or faculty members that are interested in this work are encouraged to reach out to the Medical Student Sustainability Club for more information or to get involved. We would also like to express our gratitude to Medical Students for a Sustainable Future and to Dr. Bruce Giffen for their guidance during this process. Thank you.